I think that's why I lived in a van for a start. Is I didn't really know it was possible, and then me and my friends came on a on a on a bike ride trip from England to here mm -hmm. uh, because we we all we were all failing our third year at university, and we thought it was an easy escape. We'll yeah. just ride our bikes real far and ride away from our problems, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, got here on a bicycle with a tent, and that was our little. Uh, situation our camp a couple of tents a couple of bicycles and instantly saw people living in vans and i was like that's a fucking upgrade man <laughs> <laughs> and i set my my dreams high to one day get my own van get these two wheels for four wheels and a roof um well, it's and a I, freedom in a sense no it's 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 different it's good yeah. the freedom is from the tent and the bicycle and learning that you don't need to pay bills you can kind of if you have to you can find reasonably well packed food in the bins mm. and not even buy food you can find places for water people generally help you if mm -hmm. you look respect like reasonably respectful mm -hmm. um and and then the stars align i think after that for, for example the my dream van was in rod's garden mm. i was living in rod's garden and i was like i'm gonna buy that van one day and <laughs> it ended up the the closest van to me was going to be my van and I bought it and we had a great relationship me and the van um it was an old Mercedes fucking ripper painted it redone the windows uh fixed loads of rust and realized that I could live with my only bill being a sim card like internet and fuel you put solar yeah. solar on it and learn to and live with very basic no. in, insurance, you know. Mm -hmm. Now we get insurance, but before you used to get insured. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, and that you can then, you can find a job by driving around, looking for building sites, finding someone that looks like they need a hand and be like, do you need a hand? Mm -hmm. And they're like, yes or no. And if they say no, say, what about tomorrow? And if they say no, say, I'll try and prove myself one day free trial. Mm. They say no, try the next one. Uh. Do three of them, you'll find a job anywhere in the world. You've got your van, you can live outside work, easy commute. And for me, it was just a way that I could then save money to do something else in life. Mm -hmm. It was a means to an end, but a means that I fell in love with. And that was the main thing that attracted me to the alternative life, if it's a van or, or whatever you do, is that it's not about not doing anything. It's when you do a job, you actually have money to do stuff with and not just pay all your bills and still struggle, yeah. you know, because that's more or less the, the whole, um, I, I, I more or less had to leave house. So when I was 19 and then I got, I got a job and I got an apartment and uh, then you get thrown into just paying that. You you become enslaved. But you're literally. It's. I had a pretty good job in some way. I had to work a lot, but I gave. I got enough. I like, got a good wage for what was then a good wage. But then you, yeah, rent, w heating, and all the other things, and still, you could feed yourself, clothe yourself, put petrol in your car. But that was it. So even for doing a holiday. Um, because there's a system in Belgium, you get on the end of the year like uh, uh, pr uh, like uh, a bonus, and before the holiday season, you get a bonus. And without this bonus, you would not have the possibility. Or you fix your car, or you go on a holiday. Like if you have a good year, nothing breaks. You can go on a holiday. If you have a bad year, you use the money to fix your uh, your, your car or whatever. Um, but that's it. No, and I did this for like five like two years um and your daddy was so proud uh and and then they're okay you know <laughs> like he has a job and then in their brain everything is fine but there's no future you know like you, you yeah you can you do what i did then you know like I, I did two years paying rent to a stranger the rent keeps going up then i realized for a hundred euros more a month i had my own house but then i had to do, yeah like uh Basically, for uh, instead of 400 euros a month, for 500 euros a month, I had my own house, but only if I renovated it myself. But that made more sense to get a, a, an old crappy house, renovate it, uh, and pay 100 euros more a month, but it's yours. 
you're paying your own pocket, aren't yeah. you? Kind of. And and. But then that is the trap as well because they give you a forty-year mortgage. Yeah, or, that was or thirty years. Thirty years, and no. and yeah, you can sell it and do this and that. But you know, you're incentivized to keep there and just keep chipping away for thirty years. Yeah. Well, the 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 the, the thing is that you more or less need to have that to be respected. And that also means to get a girlfriend or, or you know, like get something in life. But as soon as you then have that and you get a girlfriend, the next step is there's nothing else. You can keep partying or you have a child, you know, like, and then then you're really, it's even harder to leave, you know. If you do it yourself yeah. and you only have to take care of yourself, then you can go, but... Um, that's the real trap is the child because now you have to keep that house paid so the child's got a safe roof and people aren't brave enough to take that step. And if you don't do that, they take your child away from you because you're not taking good care of them. There's the threat you know, like that. That, yeah, that is, is also the, the thing. Like you, you cannot just decide to live in a car <laughs> and, you know, like this doesn't fly, you know, like you, 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 could, you could technically do it on a special area with a special permit and then you're uh, like a uh, like more or less a legal gypsy but gypsy. you still need an address you still need a reference address you still need to pay uh, there's still um the the system is made so you need you cannot live cheap you know like you're forced to participate in a system and in some way <clears throat> the only w when i realized that the system was not doing a good job this is a good segue actually into something else that yeah. we can talk about so that is the, the 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 thing that like if you just our parents they believed that the system for them the system did a good job you know they got a job they, they got, got security, houses cheap they got houses one man could work and have three children and they all had you nice know? shoes or shoes and the so, wife was happy because she had a dress so for them, the system was a success. Yeah. So they don't see, like now we go in the same system, but there is no jobs. Things are really expensive if you, if you want. Like everything is so much harder. So we struggle, but they don't see our struggle because in their head, they also worked and did that. So they're like, what is the problem? Why don't you do this now? They struggled, but um, they got the reward. Whereas we are expected to struggle without the reward of being able to provide for our families or ourselves plus we also know now that the system that our parents believed in was doing good is not doing good yeah. there it's doing bad it's programmed to make the rich richer uh, they're uh, destroying nature they're like just collecting all the power they're centralizing everything and i to me it's just like you gave some generation like lots of shiny objects and a future, the, the illusion of a future, but behind their backs they just positioned themselves, took all the resources, monopolized everything, and now we need to deal with this thing. Um, Do you know what they gave them in return? Old people's homes where you can play tennis forever. Yeah, and just you drive your car around and play golf till you. They're, they're advertising being a teenager again. You can go party and we have communal meals and we're all rich and so they should be looking after their families it's and their grandchildren. The promise of a good. They're taking their money. It's like the the what they said back in religion, you know, like you're gonna go to heaven when you're later. Mm. That was the similar thing. Is like yeah, I work all this time and then you're gonna go on pension and then you will have m money and you can travel. You know, it's like leisure. It's like the promise of something, but then they work their whole lives and then now they're the boomers are retiring in a world that their kids cannot afford anything. There's no future, just no jobs. Everything is super super expensive. Um, their kids are just waiting for them to die so they can inherit the house yeah. and not be struggling anymore it, 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 it's <laughs> it's 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 strange uh, um, um, it, like because the, the, the thing is also now like this is going on like my, like my father like doesn't seem to really res respect what I do or like they, they it's like strange but then in their free time they help refugees twice a week or three times a week they go community service to help strangers that come from a different country while your own kids and your own generation is struggling 
and it seems to be hard to to support them and help them 